Hey Foxies, my name is Simon Fox. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. And if you're returning, welcome back. Like always, this is never about subscribers nor about money, but about love and light. So with that being said, we're going to be doing another review. Not really a review. We're going to be doing another tutorial on this Bloodlust palette because it's just gorgeous. And I wanted to do possibly an easier more simple look um so yeah we're gonna be playing with different shades today so that way we get to test out different shades today and yeah y'all just stay tuned so going straight in with my jeffree star concealer as a base y'all already know i love using this as a base for all my eyeshadow looks i think that it makes the eyeshadows pop so much more and i would just suggest pretty much for you to try your concealer if you haven't give it a whirl and let me know how it works out for you so here i'm just setting it with a white you can just set it with any white you have so here just taking that shade monarchy and using that working from the outer portion of my eye towards the inside i wanted i wanted it to be more defined on the outer portion of my eye so i'm making sure to really pack that product on on the outside but keep blending as well so you want to make sure to pack blend pack blend and yeah just making sure to really blend out all those edges so that everything looks seamless flawless soft even taking clean brushes after you pack your product on and using that to blend out I honestly love doing this because it makes the edges of all my eyeshadows look really blended out but also still have that really good transition in between. So here just taking a wet q-tip and gonna be using that to clean up my eye as if I was cutting my crease with it and then I use concealer and go over that. This adds for a really good cut crease and it makes your eyeshadow or whatever pigment you want to use in this area look so much nicer, so much smoother. Um, yeah, because you're not putting product on product. I used to do that all the time and that actually is what causes it to last less longer throughout the day and look a lot worse. Um, so yeah, and here I'm just taking the Jeffree Star Concealer and just basically cutting over that crease that I kind of had already laid down and yeah, it honestly makes for a really good, like I said, base for your pigment to just pick up on. Leaving this concealer wet enough so that way whenever you add your other eyeshadow or shimmer or whatever else pigment you want to add to this area, that it adds and it just basically... It clings on to because it's still wet and basically dries it up using that pigment. Like here in this clip, I'm using the shade Sworn Enemy and I'm using that and just using padding motions just to apply that product because you don't want to sit there and smear it because your concealer is not set. You're just going to be picking up the product or moving it and you don't want to do that. You basically want to set it using whatever shade, whatever shimmer you want to use. I used the shade Monarchy and I, oh no, actually it's Sworn Enemy, sorry. And this shade is gorgeous. It does apply a lot more gold toned um, after it starts to fade out. I thought it was going to stay like a little bit more on the green side, but honestly love this look so much. So here I'm using the shade Executioner and Dungeon and I just mix those two lightly and you want to use this eyeshadow with such a light hand because it is pigmented like sis is there I promise you're gonna see her really fast um, but yeah no just want to make sure to like pick up that product little by little and blend it out um, take your time don't rush with blacks and in dark colors because they will literally ruin your look in 2.5 seconds I promise been there done that uh, don't want to go back so yeah I just stayed here blending for a really long while <laughs> So 
so here just blicking out that eyeliner and trying to get it as sharp and defined as possible because I really love me some liner for this look I was trying to tone it down but um you know I ended up adding some big lashes anyways because I was like this is such an easy simple look that I wanted some oomph in it I needed some oomph in it so yeah that was definitely it here I'm taking the white jumbo stick by NYX and I honestly love this so much I actually just found out that you can sharpen it so yeah I didn't want to share that with y'all because now y'all are gonna steal them off from me but <laughs> Yeah, y'all can sharpen it, um, so save your buck, literally save your money and use it for as long as you possibly can because it doesn't finish, it's literally sharpenable, it's cute. So here I'm just using the shade Dungeon and this shade was gorgeous, like it looks so beautiful, it's like a dark purple, a really deep purple. And then I'm using the shade Beauty Sleep and I'm using that to set that jumbo eye that I used in my waterline. And I honestly loved this so much. Like, it was so cute. Here I'm taking the Jeffree Star lip gloss in the shade Ice Cold. And this shade went so perfect with this look because it's not too much, it's not too less, it's like just right, at least for me. Um, yeah, I honestly loved it so much. Here I'm taking the white Jeffree Star lipstick in the shade Drug Lord and I'm using that to apply some fog freckles. Um, I also used a brown eyeliner. I will definitely do a freckle tutorial in another video if y'all want that, please make sure to let me know in the comments and now setting it with Morphe setting spray. Alright Foxy, so this is the finished look. I hope they all love it as much as I do. I'm honestly so obsessed with this look. This palette, these shades, like amazing. You definitely need to pick it up. If you're thinking about it, definitely do. Um, and if you recreate this look, please make sure to tag me or DM me a picture. I would love to see it and repost it on my Instagram. And yeah, so yeah, till then, make sure to leave me some love, some likes, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see y'all Saturday. Bye, Foxies.